We want to have segregation or integration. And if we don't want segregation, then we need to get rid of channels like BET and the BET Awards and the Image Awards, where you're only awarded if you're black. It's safe to say that most of the black community has disowned Stacey Dash after her anti-black everything philosophy she made public back in 2016. Since then, she's had quite an eventful life and career, including getting the boot from her home at Fox News. What the hell is she doing? Doesn't she know that the Fox next work is using her? However, there was much more that came before that moment. Let's walk down memory lane to see where Stacey Dash's problematic rhetoric began. It all began with her anti-BT awards and Black History Month comments. The actress's membership was canceled in 2016 when she said in an interview that there was no longer a need for either the BT awards or Black History Month. Following her remarks, it was only downhill from there as, former, fans and peers of the star began to turn their backs on her. It's a double standard, just like there shouldn't be a Black History Month. You know, we're Americans, period, that's it. What I find astounding is that we've had a president who is black. Following her scathing anti-black comments, her ex Ryan Prophet took to social media to air some of her dirty laundry, and things got messy. He revealed everything from skin bleaching allegations to her having an abortion. After she asked him to take back what he said, he posted a screenshot of their text exchange, letting her know, before the world, that nothing was being removed until she apologized. Her comments even got into the skin of adorable Gabrielle Union. Who's that? Who's Stacey Dash? Is she like related to Dame Dash? Was she on Rockefeller? Yeah. The actress is as pro-black as it gets, so when asked about Stacey Dash's comments, her response was not only expected, but it was hilariously in tune with most of the community. When the Being Mary Jane star was asked at the Sundance Film Festival about the clueless actress's comments in 2016, she simply responded, Who's Stacey Dash? Is she, like, related to Dame Dash? Was she on Rockefeller? As if that's not enough, as Stacey's star was beginning to dim, folks began digging up some of her older comments, revealing that her beliefs are actually more long-lasting than many believed. The griot resurfaced a clip of an interview they did with Vivica A. Fox, where they asked for her opinion on Stacey's endorsement of Mitt Romney, where the clueless actress posed in a red bathing suit to show her political support. I didn't know that she was a Republican. I will start there. Second, I don't know why she had to do a photo shoot in a Baywatch red swimsuit. Continuing, Vivica said, and she doesn't have a job or something to promote right now. I just didn't get it. And if you thought Will Smith whacking Chris Rock is Oscar's most memorable event, step back because Stacy's moment is close, or even way above that. I cannot wait to help my people out. Happy Black History Month. It was arguably one of the most awkward moments in Oscars history. After playing a parody clip reel of remakes of some of that year's film nominees, to prove the point of hash Oscar so white, Chris Rock introduced actress Stacey Dash to the Oscars stage on that chilly Sunday night. The Academy has taken steps to fix this problem, Rock said about the diversity controversy that enveloped that year's awards show. And that's why it's my honor to introduce the new director of our minority outreach program. Please welcome Miss Stacey Dash. While giggling, Stacy then took the stage and told the audience, I cannot wait to help my people out. Happy Black History Month. I cannot wait to help my people out. Happy Black History Month. The quiet audience uttered a few laughs, and viewers at home quickly took to Twitter to question the awkward moment. But Stacy immediately provided an answer by sharing a pre-written blog post titled, Who is Stacy Dash, and why did she just walk across the hash Oscar stage? We need to stop complaining about white people oppressing us, wrote Stacy, explaining why she has spoken against Black History Month and hash Oscar so white. We shouldn't boycott the Oscars and we need to support Chris Rock, the host. She continued, which brings me to the joke. When they added me to increase the diversity, I'm sure many black people rolled their eyes. I'm not black enough, they say. But guess what? I've heard that all my life. I would rather be a free thinking black than a cookie cutter black who thinks and votes just like all my friends. Before the actress took the stage, Rock aired three remake videos of the films Joy, The Revenant, and The Martian to illustrate how difficult it is for black actors to get work in Hollywood. If you're a black actor, just getting the opportunity to be in a movie can be a struggle, said Rock as he introduced the clips. While mopping up the floor behind Jennifer Lawrence in a scene with Bradley Cooper from Joy, Whoopi Goldberg says, maybe one day they'll make a movie about a skinny white lady who invented a mop. 
Of course, a black girl would have to invent the cure to cancer before they even give her a TV movie. Additionally, the actress was heavily criticized for how she handled the death of rapper DMX. Although the Rough Rider signee had been dead for over a year, apparently nobody told Stacy, who shared her reaction to the news in a teary TikTok video almost a year later. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know DMX died. I didn't know. X died of a cocaine-induced heart attack in April 2021, which led the actress to share details of her own sobriety. While Stacy posted her raw, heartfelt reaction in the video, social media reacted with everything ranging from sympathy to mockery. Many online used the same clueless pun to discuss Stacy's lack of awareness. Okay, y'all. I'm ashamed I didn't know. I didn't know DMX died. I didn't know. From a cocaine overdose. Stacey Dash had people on social media confused after she shared an emotional video saying she just found out that DMX passed away last year. Stacey said through tears in her video uploaded to TikTok, I am today six years and one month clean. She recorded the message, filming herself seemingly from bed. It breaks my heart, breaks my heart that he lost it. He lost, he lost to that demon of addiction. Please, please don't lose. In the caption for the video, Stacy explained that she was strolling through TikTok when she saw a DMX song that had saved her many times. Suddenly it says hash rip, I know I am late, I did not know he passed away, he hash OD, I am heartbroken, he was such a great guy. She included the hashtag, devastated. Stacy has previously opened up about her substance abuse issues, stating she was addicted to cocaine in her teens and 20s. DMX real name Earl Simmons had his own addiction issues, entering drug rehabilitation on a number of occasions in 2002, 2017, and 2019. The video gained decent traction on TikTok, but was viewed well over 1.1 million times when it was reshared on Twitter. The actress, who has made headlines over the years for a number of controversial political statements, was a trending topic online. Stacey Dash is one of those rare individuals who are never ever trending for anything good, journalist Philip Lewis said. BBC broadcaster Richie Brave commented, Stacey Dash finding out DMX died over a whole year later just shows how disconnected she is. Many others on Twitter, including comedian Rod Morrow, commented on how disconnected she was from the black community. He tweeted, Stacey Dash so disconnected from the community she is getting death notices a year late. From mocking the dead, the actress also fell on the wrong side of the LGBTQ community after saying that transgender people should use bushes for bathrooms. It's who I am. Okay, then go, go to the bushes. I don't know what to tell you, <laughs> <Go> but <to the laughs> I'm not going to put my child's life at risk. While planning on releasing her memoir, There Goes My Social Life, from clueless to conservative, Stacy of the outside world proved to be as controversial as the Fox pundit she used to be. In her book, the actress discusses transgender reality star Caitlyn Jenner's use of the women's restroom. Jenner, who is also a conservative, famously transitioned in 2015 from her former public identity as male athlete and reality star Bruce Jenner. During an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Stacy asserted that being transgender is a lifestyle choice. It's your body, so it's your decision, right? She said, we all make choices. But I think, I think that, you know, she's saying she wants to go into the woman's bathroom. She's a woman now. When rebutted with the argument that transgender people don't choose what they feel is their true gender identity, she said, okay, then go in the bushes. I don't know what to tell you, but I'm not gonna put my child's life at risk because you wanna change a law so that you can be comfortable with your beliefs, which means I have to change my beliefs and my rights. No. In her book, Stacy also recounts what she says was her the hands of an abusive man. The actress told People magazine she shot at her attacker, and the experience strengthened her views on gun control. A gun saved my life, she said. That's why my Second Amendment right will not be taken away from me. At the time, Stacy also told ET that she was planning to launch Dash America, a brand she said would help reshape the way people view feminism. What we're doing is we're chipping away at what it is to be a woman and to be feminine, she said, and what it is to be a man and be masculine. We're chipping away at that. I wish we could go back to Mad Men days. I love those days. Men were men. Politically, the actress has also waxed a few feathers. 
the 56-year-old New York native, one-time Republican congressional candidate, and former Fox News commentator was later forced to apologize for the tone of her expression in an attempt to distance herself from becoming the stereotypical angry conservative black woman, but held firm on insisting that she's not a feminist or aligning herself with any political movement for now. I've lived my life being angry, which is what I was on Fox News, she said in a new Daily Mail interview, referencing her tenure as a Fox News contributor from 2014 to 2017. At that time in my life, it was who I was, and I realized in 2016 that anger is unsustainable and it will destroy you. What people don't know is that I made a lot of mistakes because of that anger. She even suspected that her outspoken support of Donald Trump, including controversial claims about Barack Obama, a call for an end to Black History Month, and praise for Trump's comments concerning the 2017 neo-Nazi rally in Charlottesville, put her in some kind of box that she no longer belongs in. I don't hate anyone. I don't know where that comes from, she continued. He's not the president. So I'm going to give the president that we have right now a chance. Stacey has long been open about her support for conservative movements and politicians and raised eyebrows during her time on Fox News, which included a two-week suspension from the airwaves after she claimed then-President Obama didn't give a sus about terrorism. The network announced in early 2017 that her contract wouldn't be renewed following a four-month hiatus from television. After realizing everything and everyone was running away from her, the actress struck a reconciliatory tone, saying, Stacy now would never work at Fox, would never work for a news network, or be a news contributor amid the divisive political climate. Still, there are things that I am sorry for, things that I did say that I should not have said them the way I said them, she elaborated in the Daily Mail piece. They were very arrogant and prideful and angry, and that's who Stacy was. But that's not who Stacy is now. Stacy's someone who has compassion and empathy. However, her reframing of such political views might not be enough to save her career in Hollywood, as she claimed to have been basically blacklisted, because being a black conservative is not easy in a liberal industry. Her political affiliations have, over the years, drawn criticism from fellow actors, as earlier mentioned, namely from Vivica A. Fox and Gabrielle Union, who once implied Stacy was a crazy lady without explicitly referencing her by name. Following her dismissal from Fox Network in 2017, thousands of netizens took to Twitter to roast her, with one posting, Stacy Dash is the perfect example of karma, followed by laughing emojis. With another tweeting, Stacy Dash tap dance for Fox News, tried to tear down blacks, supported Trump and got fired on her day off. So, there you have it. Blunders after blunders. Is there any chance Hollywood will forgive Stacy? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching. 